All right, I thought I'd do a quick little video um, how to use the uh, Helix ATF or automatic time or excuse me, uh, yeah, automatic time alignment feature. Um, this is kind of new, um, just came out not too long ago. Um, so I'm going to be doing um, the 7.2a. There's a few new changes, um, quite favorable uh, actually over the 7.0, which I had been using. Um, so yeah, download this and the 7.2, and this is so what we're going to reference. So uh, I'm going to kind of go through this step by step uh, from the very beginning. So when you open up your um, Helix software, the splash screen, you want to go to this um, music symbol here and ATM, um, the MP3 and um, WAV file. Um, I drug that to a um, USB drive so I can just plug it into my head unit. Um, wherever your source is going to be, so go ahead and do that. And that will give you your time alignment pops, is what I call them. Um, I'm going to pick this uh, Helix Mark II, it's what I use. Um, I tried to do this in the car, but there's just too many glares on the screen and too hard to hold the camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up mine right, qu right quick. So everything looks right. Um, so one thing you want to do, um, you want to go to the I.O. screen and um, your very first driver, um, I'm not using the first two, so I start with C. That's going to be my uh, left front uh, X3 mid-range. The point is um, you want it to say full. Even if it's a tweeter, um, like these are my tweeters here, um, it doesn't matter what the label is, um, but for this in purpose, make sure it says full. So that uses your um, that very first one across the top as your reference driver. Um, I'm not sure if, if, if that changes anything with this new software. Um, I know the first one, um, you had to do that. So make sure that that is done. So hop over to the time alignment screen. Um, if you're still on the 7.0 software, um, to get to the time alignment feature, it's shift T, T is in Tom, um, and that will bring you to this screen here. Um, this kind of goes through what I'm telling you here. Um, you know, put it on a CD or USB. Um, here's that front left full. Um, and let's see. So for the microphone placement, um, I just sit in my car. Um, what I do is I recline my seat back just a little bit, maybe three to four inches. And then I hold the mic um, against my chin and my nose. Um, so it's I know that it's dead center um, between my ears. Um, and then of course, re reclining the seat kind of puts the microphone back where your ears would be at that point. Um, so at this point here, um, you want to start playing your time alignment pops. Um, you hit, uh, oops, you gotta go, go down here to go to start measurements. Um, when your pops are playing, you want them to be in this area here, um, somewhere around 50%. Um, I end up turning my sub all the way up because um, it's playing a frequency that it really doesn't want to play. Um, it's kind of a higher one. I'm not sure what it is, but it's higher. So it's very quiet. So um, being in the trunk behind the seat, you know, an infinite, infinite baffle, it's, it's, sometimes it's not loud enough to register on this little graph here so I go ahead and turn that for me all the way up um, one of the great new features of 7.2 is you no longer have to use um, the RCA inputs to do this um, you can pick uh, you know the digital or the HEC which is nice um, you want to make sure here in America that you're using the left front uh, as your le left hand drive otherwise it'll choose a different channel for um, your reference speaker. Oops, and you got to be careful when you're scrolling. <laughs> so I like to be on on delay mode. Um, you can always switch it over to see what your numbers are. Or just it it shows what it is no matter what. Um, and then down here, as you can see, that output C that I was mentioning earlier is my reference channel. And here um, we're ready to start playing those pops. If you haven't already started playing them. Um, play them now. Um, another thing to mention is on software 7.0, 
If you had unused channels like my A and B, they would be listed over here. Um, and if you didn't un X them, so they were they had no red X on them, the software would be trying to play something through those and it wouldn't hear anything and the software wouldn't finish the the cycle. Um, so if there's any unused channels that do show up here for you, make sure that they're uh, un, unchecked. And I don't have this going in my car right now, it's just uh, to the demo mode. But at this point, go ahead and hit start and it's going to listen through for um, the pops and it's going to take about 30 seconds. Once it's done, it's going to say um, that it, uh, it finished it with no problems. And there's going to be two buttons, um, before and after ATM. Um, so what's kind of neat is you can flick instantly between the two settings and hear instantly what it did to your sound stage. Um, I thought it was pretty interesting for me is I went through the exact same steps with the 7.0 software and just did it with the 7.2 now. And it gave me a whole new set of numbers that, you know, they weren't... Um, crazy different but it was kind of neat to hear the difference between um, the old one and the new one I don't know if they used a new algorithm or not um, and I've only got maybe a minute worth of listening time after I did it because I want to get this video done um, but I think I like it it's it's a little different not not dramatic but there's a difference so at that point um, it'll have a save button in this one is in this new window and that will directly import it into your time screen and you no longer have to do anything else at that point um, there is another button that if you don't like the way it came out you can uh, restart measurement and it'll kind of start the process all over again other than that I think that's about it if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me thanks